everyone welcome back to my kitchen this is your girl Gina today I'm going to be making some ziti and we're just mostly going to talk while I do it first thing you need is a box of pasta I've got a one pound box of penne pasta that I am using and I've got the whole box I'm doing enough to have two meals out of this so, um, I've got a pound of ground beef. The pasta's already in the water. Y'all know how to cook pasta. You don't just read the box. It'll tell you. I've also got in this bowl here some zucchini and extra tomato to add to this. I do have a jar of sauce, but I'm adding extra vegetables today to bulk it out so that we've got enough for a couple of good meals. Um... You, you do what you got to do with what you have to do with. And today, I happen to have tomatoes and zucchini that I could use. So, we're using them. So, yeah. Nothing extravagant. Y'all have seen me do this part of it before, too. When I get ready to add in the tomatoes and the zucchini, I will come back. All right, y'all, we've got that done. Let's add in some vegetables. At least the zucchini anyway, get it a little softened up. And this pan is a little bit small. Yeah, so I'm just trying to use up vegetables and stuff that I already have. Um, I did did have a friend that brought over zucchini and some tomatoes and different things. So I'm trying to um, use those up so that they don't go to waste because, you know, that's not a good thing. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, I thought maybe one day soon, if y'all are interested, maybe we could do a pantry tour at some point. Um, just, you know, just show y'all what we have and what we don't have and what I keep stocked on or whatever. Um, I will kind of see what y'all think about that. Um, anyway, for the rest of the ziti, we're just going to soften those up for a couple of minutes. It will cook once it's in the oven and stuff. Um, but anyway, the, all you really need is the pasta, the sauce, and some cheese to go on top. But hamburger does make it a lot better. Obviously, it's got flavor and stuff. Um, extra vegetables always help they bulk it out that kind of thing um i only boiled my pasta for about seven minutes the reason being is it will continue to cook once it is in the oven and stuff you don't want to cook it the full time and then when you get it out the oven it's gummy and nobody wants gummy pasta everybody wants nice al dente pasta so yeah um, other things you could add, you could put pepperoni on the top of it. You could put, um, other toppings like you would a pizza, like mushrooms, olives, uh, bell peppers, things like that, that you would normally put, find on top of a pizza. And it turns out really well. I've done that myself. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to give you all some ideas of how to dress this up and, that kind of thing. This is a, just a basic recipe that I'm doing and stuff. I do have a bell pepper though. I might slice that up and stuff to put in with this because I like bell pepper really well. Um, 
Anywho, once these kind of gets cooked down, this stuff right here, I will be back and I will show you what how we're going to put this together. And then at the end, I will show you all a picture. I've tried to do thumbnails and stuff lately. Um, anyway, if you haven't already, click like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me do, like a pantry tour, or hear me discuss, or whatever along that line. I would be more than happy to, within reason, y'all, within reason. I can't, you know, there's certain topics that are not really YouTube friendly, so, um, but as long as it's kind of PG, we can, you know, do that, but anyway, um, as soon as this gets cooked, I will show you how I put the rest of it together. All right, y'all, final step. Um, of course, this is a 9 by 13 pan. Um, it's been sprayed with cooking oil um, spray. Uh, I like to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom, not a ton, but enough to kind of cover the bottom a little bit as stuff falls on my counter and my counter has been cleaned y'all I just cleaned it a few minutes ago so it's not dirty um, anyway just a little as you see it just kind of covers the bottom then we are going to put in our pasta and it's mostly cooked just not completely cooked I mean you could eat it at this point but we're not going to and this is a good meal to make freeze um, uh, you know and then that way when you're coming home from work on a weeknight and you're like I don't know as long as you think like that morning to thaw it out, it won't take no time to actually heat it up once you get home and stuff. Um, that kind of thing. I like freezer meals, y'all. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our meat and our extra vegetables here. And I'm trying to do this without making a mess. Which is proving to not be um, something that I can do, um, apparently. My mother will tell you I'm probably a, the, one of the messiest people around as far as being able to spill and stuff. I make a hot mess, y'all. All right. I'm trying to get some of this stuff kind of distributed out. And at this point, we're just going to have to start spooning it in. I'm going to pick up what I uh, dropped on the floor and throw it away. All right, y'all. I'm trying to even distri evenly distribute the hamburger as well so that everybody can have a little in their meal. Um, this is one of those ways you can stretch. Like, that was exactly one pound of hamburger, y'all. Exactly one pound. So, this is a way you can kind of stretch out um, hamburger or chicken is to make a casserole if you don't have a lot of it um, add in other stuff and it will make it go a lot further um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of the sauce on here and try to get that where you can kind of evenly distribute that as well 
so that the pasta doesn't get crunchy and stuff. And actually, y'all, I'm going to take it over here, put a little water in it, get the rest of the sauce out. All right, y'all, last thing is our shredded mozzarella. This is from Aldi. And I would say this casserole here would feed, if you had to stretch it, like 8, 10 people maybe. Um, you know, your portions wouldn't be huge, but it would keep you alive. Um, or if you just have a smaller family and you need to ration stuff out and make several meals, you know, I would, you might even be able to stretch this to like 10 servings in here. Um, because it is, I mean, that one's completely full. Y'all can see it's literally up to the top of the casserole dish so uh you know that would it helps stretch out your ground beef and it gives more substance that's why i had the whole pound of uh, the pasta boiling because i know that this is a good way to use it up y'all we like pasta at my house i know people are like carbs are so bad for you well, my husband's italian y'all and my husband is not about to go without pasta forever. Um, that just ain't going to happen in my world. So, we pasta at this house. So, that's just kind of how it is. How much cheese you use is up to you. Now, I had a one pound bag and it was like half full. And I've got enough left in there right now for a pizza. So, we're good. But anyway... Bake it at like 350 to 400 degrees. If it's a higher temp, of course, you don't have to cook it as long. Um, and you just want to bake it until everything's bubbly and the cheese is good and melted and that kind of thing. Um, and make sure that the vegetables are good and cooked through. So I would say 25 minutes or so, 25 to 30 minutes. Um, and then you'll have a good dinner in front of you. Anyway, this has been Gina in the kitchen. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. God bless.